welcome back to my channel as you can see this is almost new Samsung Galaxy Note 20 Ultra 5G this is Note 20 Ultra 5G problem is the screen heated in here and completely it's uh, out of work now okay so we must need to change it okay so we got the replacement part I'm going to show you So that's the actual replacement part the screen comes with the body the whole housing so that's mean we have to pull out every single component from here and put it back in here and the back cover on put the battery in back cover on and the job would be done okay so this job it seems like very hard to do but it's so simple it just takes time you know you, you should have patience with it and slowly slowly you can do that okay so let's start. First, I'm going to put it in here. So first, what are you going to do? We're going to take out the SIM tray. That is the first thing. Good. And now, with this hair dryer, I'm going to apply heat. seems this is hot enough so now what are you gonna do we're gonna make a gap with the flat opening tool like this it's very easy to damage so be gentle and be careful put the paper in and just try to cut the glue So that's the back camera. I'm going to leave it inside a pack just to keep it dust free, you know. So now, slowly, slowly, we must need to disconnect all of them one by one, okay, by removing uh, the screws. One. Alright, so this side is done. Gently pull this out. Before you do that, disconnect it first. That is disconnected. And try to take this out. While you do that, make sure you disconnect the connector as well. It's very fine wire. Well. You need to be very careful. gently pull this out All right what I'm going to do I'm going to take this screw off
so now take this out yeah this one came out as you can see put it on the side now first thing is disconnect the battery then the main one by one never touch these uh, lamps otherwise you're gonna you're gonna damage the actual quality of the camera because you can't clean it the way it is right now disconnect all of them don't forget about this flex also this one as well absolutely fine now let's check how we can take this out that part as well now we need to check if there's any screw and stuff I don't see any more screws here I think this one should come out with the there is no much more difficult you can just take this out like that can see that's the main board leave it on the side okay so now this part already been clear now we need to work out in this side disconnect it don't pull this because this one attach to the uh, actual charging port okay don't forget there are two screws one screw on the board which is right here and then two screws into the port super simple so now from here we must need to remove the board first this is the primary cable and try to take this out as you can see this is super simple now we're going to take out this flex okay need to be very careful Go underneath the flex can you see that so I push this one if you use any metal tool you need to be very careful I'm doing it for so long so that's why I know how to control you know in your case if this is first time it's always best to use the plastic one okay so that is done too now we need to remove from here the battery and the vibrator okay yeah. so let's check <laughs> thanks lad okay, thank you cheers okay, so here don't play with that okay so the battery attached with very strong adhesive underneath i'm going to show you how difficult it is to remove not easy as you can see so the best way is to apply some PCB cleaner okay so add in here give it a little bit of time 
a lot of tutorial it shows like this is so easy they put it and open it definitely those videos are post video you know most of them so be careful don't feel like it's going to be super easy because just to make the video shorter or to make it more professional might be some people they cut it they don't show the actual real time how much it takes to remove the battery from the old phone and to put it back into the new one okay so make sure you have patience and you do spend some time with it it's coming out slowly yep yeah. it's become so easy slowly and gently yeah we did not pause the video as you can see okay so it seems like that has already melted down okay don't forget to make it flat with this flat part you know if there is any bubble it's gonna make a disturbance for the reapplication okay so i can see this is absolutely fine compared to such a big phone this is kind of very small battery you know they could make the battery a little bit more bigger because this one it shows 4370 million okay this is quite small if they wanted they could make it much bigger to save you know more energy in there okay so that is also removed now if you compare the new replacement we can't see there is anything difference because the volume button comes with it your speaker also comes with it but still i don't know about your one you must need to check what is included what is not okay so i'm going to observe it from top to bottom i can see your speaker your speaker here volume up and down volume up and down touch then the pan panel yes pan panel also in here okay so almost that's all you know okay so now it's fine we can remove this we don't see anything else to take out from here okay so now what you can do you need to peel this off there are a lot of stickers and stuff peel this off I don't know why they use this sort of sticker let me double check if there is anything missing no it's absolutely fine yeah it's absolutely fine now it's okay take this warranty sticker Now, first is first. What are you going to do? We're going to put the motherboard in. Okay, that's the motherboard. Don't touch the camera. The first thing is. Push that side in first. Okay, don't forget all the flex. I don't see any more flex in here. As you can see, this one went in straight away without any trouble. Yeah. Absolutely brilliant. Connect all of them one by one. Good.
absolutely fine. Now the actual charging port and before you do that make sure you put this one back. Second one is the battery. We don't need to reapply the glue because it seems that is fine. Now we need to put this back. Absolutely fine. Super simple, you know, it just take a little bit of time and understanding like, you know, what you are doing. So now, if you close that one, it's going to block the way of the battery as well. So we must need to connect the battery. So simple. Good. If you want, you can put back all the screws in here. If it doesn't go in, we must need to check where is the problem. Definitely there is a problem. Let me check if there is anything, any gap. No. Good. So don't over tighten the screw because that way it might damage your main bolt. See how simple it is. What he can do, we can give it a check by turning on the power. As you can see, the power is coming on. That's mean everything connected properly. Now we're going to check the touch. If the touch is fine, then the job would be done. By the way, I'm trying to add some double sided tape just for the back cover
So what? I was like, you know, we're gonna have to Okay, so before we peel this off, we're gonna double check. We're gonna go to emergency because we don't know the password. Vibration, everything seems fine. So now, we're gonna peel this off. That is the advantage of keeping the back cover protected without any dirt and stuff, you know. And as you can see, this is a little bit messy. What we can do, we can just cut it because we reapplied anyway. Good. And this side as well. We can put this back and everything should be back to normal. you can see yeah it's a kind of brand new phone don't forget like me it's fine now we're going to test the charge because that is most important because we remove the charging bolt and we pull it out so we just want to make sure there is no damage happening that's the charging port. It's charging, fast charging. Everything seems fine. So now, if you remove it, we can check. It's a brand new phone. S20 Ultra 5G. So that's how you change. change the complete screen panel for Samsung Note 20 Ultra 5G. It's super simple. It seems very easy. A lot of tasks in there. You need to change uh, this and that. You know, you need to pull this out. But it's not too hard. As I told you, very, um, you know, patiently if you do it, it's super simple. Let me tell you some clue for this. First thing, never touch the camera lens. The actual camera lens never touch it when you take out the back cover put it in a safe place don't contact with too much dust because later on you have to clean it and you never can clean like a factory you know and then when you pull out the all the flexes be gentle and you know the actual wireless panel NFC panel when you pull this out there are two three connectors so two connectors definitely you need to be careful first you need to pull this out so when I open the NFC part, I mean wireless uh, charging part, I just took the front panel first and the back, okay? When I pull the back, I just pull out the actual, you know, inside mid frame because then I don't have to remove the glue tape and stuff like that. Follow step by step and do it. If you have any difficulty, if you have any question, let me know in the comment section. And this video will be you know it's not only for the screen replacement that would be enough for replacing the battery whatever you want to do because this is a kind of hard surgery you know so thank you so much for watching guys i hope i will see you in the next video and don't forget to like and subscribe see you again bye for now thank you